All right, guys, so it's time to talk about some more lighthearted, woke news to take our minds off of the screwed up things that are going on in our country almost on a daily basis. <laughs> um, as a new woke health brand launches womb-shaped cereal to break period stigma, <laughs> right? Now, this is a part of society's attempt to normalize things that shouldn't be normalized uh, for a reason, right? Things that we, we typically don't talk about for a reason because uh, we, we really shouldn't be having open conversations about this stuff, okay? Particularly when it comes to, you know, sex, body parts, you know, sexuality, things like that. Uh, there's a reason why this stuff is not normal, right? Because uh, we really shouldn't be talking about it openly, okay? And there's absolutely nothing wrong with keeping some conversations and some topics private however there's some people on the woke left that just simply don't understand that concept right they don't understand the concept of privacy okay and having some decency in our society so therefore again they got to try to normalize everything and, and now they're trying to normalize conversations about periods at the breakfast table right again i'm not necessarily sure if that's what i want to be talking about while i'm eating but Again, this woke company wants you to start talking about this stuff while you're eating. So let's read about this. A menstrual themed breakfast featuring womb shaped cereal has been launched in a bid to kickstart conversations about periods in the home. In an effort to highlight the lack of period conversations among friends and family, intimate uh, wellness brand Intima has created Period Crunch, a unique uterus shaped breakfast cereal. <laughs> period Crunch, right? What about periodos, right? <laughs> or period flakes? <laughs> I feel like there's all kind of names uh, they could have came up with uh, for this type of cereal, right? Uh, but again, pre period crunches, I, I feel like they could have came up with some better names, though. Each and every raspberry flavor piece of the cereal is shaped like a uterus and bright red, which dyes the milk a distinctive red. That, that sounds disgusting. Why in the world do they think that people want to eat a cereal that is supposed to remind them of periods, right? Period blood, okay? Because if the milk is turning red, I think that I would be grossed out at that point and probably throw the cereal in the trash. That, that's what I would do, okay? This is going a little bit too far in my opinion. The box also includes conversation prompts and a diagram of the female reproductive system for people to identify where the uterus is located in the body. The unusual launch was inspired by a survey of over 2,000 adults from the brand which showed that almost half, 48% of people are too embarrassed to talk about their period, while more than three quarters, 77, have never mentioned their periods in everyday household social settings, such as around the breakfast table. Okay, I got questions about this. First and foremost, uh, you notice how they're avoiding using the word woman, right? They're saying people, as if men and women have periods and that's just simply not true right um why are they not saying women right why are they trying to make periods gender neutral right that's like one of the first things i noticed when i read this article also on top of that i can't tell that almost half of women are embarrassed about talking about their period because every time i look right uh women use their period as an excuse for everything right hey you want to go out on a date oh, i'm on my period right hey you want to watch some tv you want to hang out I'm on my period, right? <laughs> you want to do homework together? I'm on my period, right? I feel like a lot of the women that I talk to are always telling me about their period or when they're on their period. So I can't really tell uh, that this is a thing, right? That almost half of women are embarrassed to talk about. It seems like all women love talking about their period. But again, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. That's just maybe my experience. I'm just saying, okay? And I'm not necessarily sure why women would want to talk about periods at the breakfast table like why you're eating food okay that's just like talking about i don't know taking a dump at a breakfast table why would you want to do that right why would you want to bring up something that you know again is natural but at the same time you know hey um it's kind of gross right things get gross down there right um i don't think that's something that i would want to talk about at the breakfast table i don't think that's a conversation i want to participate in and i don't understand why people would want to do that. But again, this this woke cereal brand wants people to have those conversations. Again, I, I just don't get it. In further surprising statistics, it turns out 82% of people are unable to correctly identify 
<laughs> where the uterus is. The uniquely shaped cereal is designed to act as a conversation starter and aims to break down the ongoing social barriers around period talk. Dr. Shrey Dada, gynecologist for Intima, says, I'm delighted that Intima has taken the bull by the horns and developed period crunch to help raise awareness of the ongoing social stigma around periods. Quote, periods are a natural part of who we are, so it's deeply concerning to hear that so many people remain uncomfortable discussing them when they are just another part of our health. Well, I mean, how can we have a conversation about it when you guys don't even want to acknowledge that uh, women are the ones that are having periods, right? When you want to take women out of the conversation, okay, uh, it's going to be real hard to have a real discussion about this, right? When you start acknowledging that only women can have periods, then we can come to the table and have a discussion about this stuff. But until then, uh, I don't think there's any conversation to be had. Quote, it's heartbreaking to hear that 25% of women have taught themselves about periods when there is support available. I look forward to period crunch, kickstarting conversations, and breaking down periods <laughs> over the breakfast table. The brand created the menstrual theme cereal as a part of the ongoing scene plus her period po positivity campaign, which aims to normalize and increase the visibility of menstrual well-being. Quote, periods are normal and talking about periods should be normal, emphasizes uh, Daniela Zager, a spokesperson for Intima. I, I mean, I think that it is normal. I don't understand what's not normal about it. Now, is it appropriate to talk about in all settings, like at the dinner table? No, right? Uh, but it is normal. I don't understand what these people are trying to do. Do you want it so that we're talking about periods all the time, right? Do you want it so that every time a woman is on their period that they announce it to the world, hey, I'm on my period? Right. Look at me. Right. Pay attention to me. Is that is that what you want? What what exactly is the goal here? Because I don't think that there's a stigma around periods at all. Right. It's just one of those things that, you know, we just shouldn't be talking about in every setting. Quote, but because of the ongoing social stigma around ministration, uh, period conversations remain difficult and embarrassing for people, even with loved ones. There's not a more normal everyday scene than the whole household sitting down together at the kitchen table and talking over a meal. And if period conversations were truly normalized, then they wouldn't be off this table or off any table for that matter. But our research shows conversations about periods at home are few and far between. For the sake of our physical and mental health, we need to talk more about uh, our menstrual health. And that's what Period Crunch Cereal is designed to raise awareness of and make a statement about. Well, I mean, the only person you really need to be talking to about your period uh, is probably your mom, right? Or, or your gynecologist, okay? I, I think those are the two people that women should be talking to about their periods, okay? Um, or other women, right? I'm pretty sure they talk to their best friends about their period. Again, I don't know. I'm not a woman. I'm just saying. I'm just guessing here. Despite recent strides in normalizing period conversations, which include Pantone releasing a new color to tackle the stigma surrounding administration and a proposal for a new period emoji, it is clear more needs to be done. <laughs> Back in 2019, a survey suggested a third of men b believe it is unprofessional for women to talk about their period in the workplace. Yeah, it is unprofessional. Why would you bring that up? Why would you talk about it? Unless it is actually disrupting them from doing their work. Right. If a woman's period is hurting her so bad that she actually can't do her job, then, yes, it's appropriate to, you know, say, hey, you know, I, I can't do my job because of my period or whatever. That's fine. But just to be announcing it to the world or just saying it or whatever, um, I'm not necessarily sure if, if, if that is appropriate in the workplace. But, hey, that, that's just me. While almost half of the workforce will have to navigate having a period at least at work every month, it seems they have to do so in secret with the survey finding 32% of men think it is unprofessional for women to talk about the topic of administration while they're at work. Another survey found that just under half of women are still using a code name when referring to their period. So again, guys, don't you find it hilarious how all of a sudden when it comes to bashing men, right, when it comes to talking about how men are a problem, uh, when it comes to women talking about their periods, all of a sudden now they want to acknowledge that women are the ones that can have period, right? Not men, okay? So again, it's funny how this conversation, because gender, once they need to uh, start talking trash about men. It's funny how that works. The survey by Period Product Subscription Service Mondays found women are turning to covert code names because many believe the term period sounds dirty, rude, awkward, and embarrassing. The series is not available to buy in supermarkets, but you can register interest in receiving it by email in period crunch. This is cow.com. Yeah, so, hey, man. <laughs> if you see a box of period crunch, 
okay, in your house or whatever, right? <laughs> Just know that uh, whoever the woman is that ordered that would like to have uh, more conversations about their period at the breakfast table, right? They want to talk more about their periods and they want to normalize those conversations in society. Again, um, <laughs> I think some people just need to learn that some conversations are not normal for a reason. And we just have to accept that and stop trying to simply normalize everything just to be normalizing it, right? It is what it is. But let me know what you guys think. <laughs> Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.